question and answer time tonight. Somebody got a question. Um, yeah, Jimmy. Hey Greg, the other day you said something about um, setting the show and optimizing the show, that there's a difference. I didn't really understand. Ah, uh, yes, the difference between setting a show and optimizing a show. It, 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 it's my language, so <clears throat> of course I'd have to explain it to everybody, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, first of all, let me go back to a couple of the videos. One is <clears throat> um, the difference between the material and the interpretation of that material for people, okay? So, uh, uh, material... Uh, setting the material and setting the opt out, setting the optimization, I mean, the setting the uh, interpretation. So, just so you start to see this, what I'm trying to get across to people is that I think a show needs to be flexible and needs to be experimented with a lot. So, if people write a joke, memorize the words, right, and then practice the way that they're going to interpret it and they behave with the body language the same way, and and the same vocal tone for every delivery, and now that's set. It's a choice that you've made to set the show. First of all, if you memorize words, it's going to set really quick because memorized words in internal dialogue, you have to do it that way because it's an inflexible system in itself. You have to do the exact words. Uh, the interpretation with memorized words kind of just goes hand in hand where you end up saying it exactly the same way every time, so you end up behaving the same way every time you perform it. And that's setting the show, okay? And what I find with that is that, that the persons who do that have a tendency to have a way they do that show, whether the audience is laughing, not laughing, whatever, they kind of always do the show the same way, irregardless of how the audience is responding. Okay, so oftentimes you can actually see what they call, they call a canned show. It's canned. They can see, oh, it's just a little bit out of sync with the audience because they're doing it the way they've always done it. Now, optimization is you write your material uh, and you get up and perform it and you experiment with the language of it. And then you experiment with the interpretation of it. So you keep trying a little bit of different language changes and so on and so And you're always trying it a little bit different ways, sometimes radically different ways to interpret it. And you experiment with that joke or that bit. Steve Martin says he would experiment with a joke for three to six months before it was really done. Okay? So... That's the difference, is if you set your show, okay, it gets set. You stop experimenting. You stop experimenting with the language, and you stop experimenting with the interpretation of the show. And that's also the way comedians get incredibly bored with their material really quickly and find that it is not funny nor fun to perform anymore, because now it's just a presentation of the set. Uh, if you uh, do what I'm teaching, which is uh, memorize your words in relationship to pictures, sounds, and feelings, the words, okay, so everything you say has a picture that causes you, you look at a picture and you live inside the sensory world if it's at a place like Richard Pryor out in the forest, you know, you know, I know where the, the, the pond is, I know where the trees are, I know, you know, because he sees it, we see it, and then he experiments inside that world, to find the best interpretation of the whole bit that he's written, which includes improvising some material while he's up there and trying different interpretations of material he knows that works. And that experimentation goes on for, I don't know, for quite a while. And then you hit a place I call with that optimization. What you've done is you've messed with the language in all the different ways, you, all the machinations until you find, oh, when I say it in this rhythm, with this way, so on and so forth, that, that seems to pop the best laugh. And when I do the, per, you know, the interpretation of what I'm doing a certain way, uh, you know, a certain speed, uh, a certain emotion, uh, you find the optimum way to pop that laugh with that. And what I find with optimization, though, the difference is 
with just set material. It's set like concrete. That's the way. Even when you optimize material, you're always it always changes a little bit. And less language so, but in the interpretation, it can change uh, because the audience is affecting you. You're, you're telling them the story and you're letting them in. And then you're, as you tell the story, uh, it, it adjusts itself uh, to each performance. So the, the interpretation is never exactly the same. Uh, because that's, you know, what I consider in a relationship with the audience is they, you affect them, they affect you, you affect them. And they're actually having an influence on how the show is going. And what you discover from audience to audience is kind of a, a range in that optimization. You know the best way to pop the laugh, but you'll change that range for different audiences. You'll speed up the language, or maybe even drop a few, you know, say it a little bit different or something, because you're in a place where there's a dialect, and you'll use that dialect. So, and so the show kind of adjusts from, from uh, the, uh, the, the material and the interpretation, adjust from show to show to show, taking in how the audience is responding and not responding. And this also, the other big thing that it does, gives you the, what I call the space to improvise if something comes to you, because now you're living inside picture, sounds, and feelings. You're living inside the sensory world of your material. It's an experience, not a series of jokes that you're memorizing and delivering, but a sensory world you're living in, and as you sit there and react to it when you're in that heightened state of performing, things start coming out of you that you have no idea where they came from. And I find that that's the best material ever because you're writing that material from inside the show out. Whereas when you wrote the jokes, you basically wrote them from the outside and put them in. Okay, so what I'm, I'm trying to communicate to everybody is when you memorize your words and, uh, and, and the interpretation and you've said it, all the experimentation stops. It you know, stays rigid like concrete, it's set. That's why I don't use the word very much. Whereas if you do a show that's in picture, sounds, and feelings, uh, and, and you're always experimenting to the point where you optimize it and know that range at which to pop the best laugh from audience to uh, that little adjustment from audience to audience to audience, that's optimization. And until you understand what I'm talking about to the untrained eye, they seem to be the same. And they are not. Set versus play and experimentation and adjusting are completely different approaches to performing. Yeah.